This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Atlas build guide. Today I'm going to show you how to build a multi-purpose farming brig. Let's get to it. So per the usual, I'm going to be flying off and on during this video. You don't need to be flying. You can build this whole thing without it. It's just easier for me. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the back wall here. So we're just going to make sure that they're all facing whichever way you want them facing. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to have them facing in like that. And then we're just going to snap all of them to the back side there. So they line up nice and pretty like that. Now I left a hole here. This is it. There's a two by two opening here. This is at the one in the front. You can put this pretty much wherever you want this hole. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we're going to take our wall and we're going to go one, two on that side. Then we're going to come over here on this side. We're going to go one, two on this side. Then on these front pieces, we're going to transform that to the door. And it'll make sense why I'm doing that later on in the build. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go towards the front here and we're going to cap this off. So we're going to go one there and then we're going to come over here and we're going to go one, two. Then we're going to change this to the door. And we're going to do that. So that's what you should have right now. And see, this is why I'm flying so I can show you stuff easy. Okay, so now we're going to go around one more time across the top of this with the wall. This is going to be too high all the way around. So we're just going to go around. You can do this from the inside really quickly and easily. So and then you should have that. Now we're going to put a ceiling on this and I find it much easier to do the ceiling if we build our ramp first. So we're just going to come down here and we're going to face that like that. And you can use ramp or stairs or whatever you want. I like the look of this so I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to snap that like that. Now we can come up here and it's much easier to cap the top of this off from the top. Otherwise, they're going to want to the ceilings will snap to like the wrong spot down there and you'll have to jump sometimes. It's just easier to do it this way. And we're going to take this all the way to the back like that. So that's going to give us our place to put our cannons across the back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our wall and we're going to go one, two there and we're going to go to the other side and we're going to do the same thing. One, two, and then we're going to grab our slope pieces and we're going to place them on each of the sides like that. Okay, now we're going to go to our ceiling piece again and we're just going to take our ceiling across the front here and then we're going to go one more across like that and now what we can do is we can bring our ramp the rest of the way up. So this is what you should have right now. Let me try to do like a little pan around so you can see what it should look like. Okay, now we're going to create the little spot real quick where the uh, steering wheel is going to go and that's just going to go right here. So we're just going to, you can just put that ceiling there like that, but I don't like the way it looks. So what we're going to do is get that to go like that and then we're going to grab our wall pieces and we're going to transform those, transform that again and just snap those in there like that. See, that looks so much better like that. All right, so now we're going to take the back part of this and we're going to get our half wall and we're going to place it right there and then we're going to place the other one right there and then we're going to take our ceiling and we're going to go across like that. We're going to take our half wall again, place that right there. That's going to allow us to then go back to the ceiling, transform it to catwalk and run a catwalk all the way across there like that. Okay, so this is what you should have at this point. Now you can fill this whole bottom in here, like right here with the half wall if you want to. I just don't because it makes it easier to get in and around the cannons because you can actually crouch down in there. And we're going to put the cannons here in the front and you won't have any problems mounting them and neither will your uh, crew members. But if you mount them, you can get stuck in here. So it's nice to be able to crouch because if you have the wall here, then you won't be able to crouch under it. If you get stuck, you can just crouch crawl underneath of it and pop out on the other side. So this build essentially allows us to stagger two rows of cannons and then across the top here is where we're going to put the ballistas because you don't need too many ballistas to bring down a whale. Okay, so now that at this point we're going to start working on our armor 
and we don't do go too crazy as you can see over there that's the completed build we don't go too crazy with the armor just enough to provide a little bit of protection to protect our cannons and um, protect the side of our ship a little bit so we're gonna come up here to the top and we're just going to face that down like that and then maybe not fall off the side like I continuously do. And then on this back side, you can transform that to the roof corner piece and you can put that on both of the corners like that. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. So we just go ahead, since we already have the corner piece and we can snap that to there. And you can jump up here pretty easily. And uh, then we're going to maybe snap it down there. I might have, oh, we just had it. Let's try that again. Might be easier just to complete the uh, side paneling here. So we're just going to take that across there. Now we'll transform it back to the corner piece and then it should just snap right into place like that. Okay, so now we're gonna create our, I guess like wing armor or whatever you wanna call it. This just provides cover across the top of the ship so your upper cannons and stuff don't get hit. Go out like that and then you do the same thing on this side. And then that just makes it harder for cannonballs to actually hit your ballistas and cannons up top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the bottom part here and we're actually going to create a second set of armor so or a second tier and that snaps right underneath there like that and we could just take three out that way, come over to the other side and do the same thing. Now what happens is, is we can snap this in here like that and just kind of, I don't know, tighten it all up a little bit, get, provide a little extra, extra oomph there. And as you can see from there, we can take it all the way down. So then we're going to just do that. So we're, we'll just uh, place that there and you can actually come out the side here and fall down gently. There we go. We caught it and place it like that we can do the same thing on the other side here we'll just snap our pieces in and then snap them facing down and that provides you some nice cover there across the the back side of the ship and we can take those out one more if you want to All the way back like that. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Just take it all the way back. And that helps protect the, the back of your boat when you're coming up alongside something in order to farm it. A lot of the ship of the dam will fire. They'll hit the back side there. So that just provides that extra protection for you. And that's part of the reason we left those doors so that we can then get in there and run repairs on everything. So see how easy it is to pop in here now? You can run repairs on all of that stuff and you can even get around to the back. Even once the planks are on, you can get around to the back. You might have to do a little crouching here and there, but uh, you should be good to go. But you're like, well, why can't you just jump in here? I don't like the way this looks, so you can leave that like that if you want, but I don't like the way it looks. What we're going to do is we're going to transform to these pieces here and we're just going to fill that in like that. And then the same thing on this side. And then we can go inside and we can do that on the back half like that and then transform down to this one. You should just be able to hit Q a couple times. It should pop in there and we'll do the same thing over here. Just hit Q a couple times and then it just pops in there. So that's the reason we put the doors because the this being hidden and you can actually like put a door on this uh, if you want to to hide it completely. It just looks better. Oh, that actually placed the wrong way. Let's try that again. There we go. So that just it just looks better like that in my opinion, but you can leave it open if you want. So now we're going to take the armor all the way around. I'm going to start by putting a piece there and then I'm going to come underneath here. I'm going to put a piece there. This is just going to give extra support if you lose certain panels. So and then from that point, we can just come up across the top of it like this. And if you do this, you may want to leave this part here so you can get up and down your ladder till the last, uh, till you're done, you know, at least one side. I'm going to go ahead and take this side all the way across here, but I'm going to put one there like that just for extra support. And then we're just going to bring that to the front. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to 
run this along here. And you can put these support pieces wherever you want. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. If you're leaving this to the last so you can get up and down the ladder, you can just start a new one on the other side of the ladder here like this. So you would leave this piece off, leave this piece off, and this piece off, and then you would just start a new one on this side. But you can also use a grapple to get up and down. So it's uh, it's completely up to you how you want to do that. It doesn't doesn't really matter all that much. So we'll just say it was like this. And we'll have it even on both sides. It doesn't matter where you put those. You can actually put them all along the inside if you want to, but just having a couple, you can lose a lot of different pieces of this without having any issue. Um, this is just for added protection. Like you can lose this chunk here and, and you can even lose chunks with these pieces missing and it'll still hang in there. I don't know what it's connecting to, but, or why it works, but it will, but that's not to say they won't patch it and fix it at some point. So it's just kind of good to have these extra support pieces. Okay, so you're just gonna build it out to about there. That should should hold you for a minute. Now we're gonna go to the front, and the front's going to allow us to see where we need to start coming in like this. Uh, it's just easier than, I mean, you can count the pieces if you want here. Uh, take a screenshot right there if you want, um, but I find it easier just to go ahead and jump to the front, because the front doing this part here is then going to allow us to know where I stepped it in like I did there. So we're just going to come to the front and we're going to place these pieces as far forward as we can facing outwards like that. And then we're going to place a piece like that on both sides. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take it and transform it to the triangle piece. And then we're going to place that on both sides. Then we're going to go back to the normal piece and place that. And then we're going to transform it to the uh, roof of valley like that. So at this point, you should have something that looks similar to this. Now we can go in there and we can fill in this gap here because we can see how close we're going to get. So if you take a look here, we're at uh, two from the front, essentially. So we're just going to build all the way up here until we're two from the front. So I build there and then one, two, so there we go. So now I know that I need to transform this to, and you can do all this from the inside as well if you're walking. But we can just go like that and then transform that inwards. So that gives us like a step in and then we can just place our other one. And that creates like that in, in step there, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. It's very glitchy. Don't stand on it. You, you'll... See how I'm glitching out? Yeah, don't stand on those pieces. So we're going to do the same thing over here. So we'll go one more. Should leave two. Yep. So now we're just going to transform to the triangle piece. Hit Q to pop that out. And then we're going to go back to the full piece. And there you go. That's it. So that's your. That's pretty much all there is to your armor. Now you can go through and corner piece some of this stuff just to kind of make it easier. Because right now, if you want to repair, you got to walk all the way out here to get these lower ones. You can repair this here from the inside spot, um, but you have to repair this this stuff here from the outside of the ship. And it can be easier if you just add corner pieces, plus it just kind of makes everything look a little nicer. So we're gonna go to our corner pieces here. We're just gonna snap a corner piece on there, snap a corner piece on there, and then you get that situation there. Now to repair, because and I'm showing you this because people ask me in the comments all the time, well, how do I repair those armor? All this stuff here, you can repair from just walking along the inside. All of this, all of this around here, you can just run along the side and repair. The stuff here, uh, you have to go into the doors here and you can repair this stuff really easily. Or you can walk al along the outside, you can come up here, you can walk around the corner and you can easily access all this stuff and repair it and you can walk up here, you can repair all of that. You can also continue to walk up your ramp, get around here, repair all of this and easily get to all of that. See how easy that works and do the same thing up here. You can get to these. And if you want to repair the stuff on that side, because you have the corner pieces, it's really easy to just kind of get up in there like that and walk around and re do those. And then the same thing over here, you can also walk around pretty easily. 
If you want, you can also put a ramp here. Like that. If you just want to kind of, I don't know, make everything a little bit more symmetrical, that's up to you. Uh, that's added weight though, so I left that off of the build. Okay, so at this point we're going to add our cannons. So we're going to come down here to the bottom. Now to do this, I hit backspace. That gets everything off the screen. And then we're just going to see how like there's that straight line across the front. It's the front of the cannon that we're, we're looking at. So like this part right here, like that front part there, that's what we're going to use to line up the front here because you can see through the blueprint. So we're just going to take that and we're going to bring that to the front line there and push it forward just a little bit. And I like to just use that to kind of line up something like that. That should give us a nice little, little gap there. There we go. And then you can just use the, the wheels to line up rest of it. So if we get that just right and then we can just continue to place cannons all the way down. Now we're going to leave one in the middle empty so that we can get up and down really easy. And you can do that really simply by, and, and keep everything in line by lining it up, placing it, placing your next one, and then picking that cannon back up. And then you can go back to placing the rest of them. We only have to do that down here. Just makes it easier to get up and down your sh ship, or I should say on and off of your ship using the ladder. So there we go. So we got those placed across and they should be relatively straight. Yeah, for the most part. And now we're going to go up to the top part here. We're going to jump up here. This is where our ballistas are going to go, but we're going to do that. Why can I not jump any other time? I have no problem. Uh, this is where our ballistas are going to go, but we're going to save that for last. So we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to line up our cannons. We're going to push them forward. Pretty far, but not too far that the armor isn't helping protect them. And we're just going to place them in line and we're just going to line up those wheels like that. So we get our last one and then just line those wheels up one more time like that. Okay. And then that's your, your two rows of cannons. It's a lot of cannons. Um, you shouldn't have any problems taking down ships of the dam. Now, if you want to, I know a lot of you swear by the large cannons. I hate the large cannons when you're doing the kiting technique because you basically have to constantly, it's bad enough that the ship of the dams swerve in a zigzag pattern behind you because they're constantly, for some reason, I guess they're trying to, uh, broadside you. I don't know what they're doing, but they, they constantly sail in a zigzag pattern and it's really annoying. So that means if you have the large cannons, you have to do the same thing in order to keep them in line because the large cannons don't swivel. So I don't like the large cannons. I'd prefer just more and more medium cannons. But if you want large cannons, you can easily put those across the bottom here or you can just do a couple like, like say right here just for that little extra oomph. That's completely up to you. I prefer the medium cannons. So that's all you're ever going to see in my builds. But that doesn't mean you can't swap those medium cannons out with large cannons. Now, you probably can't do it up here. I don't know. I didn't test to see if there was enough space up here to do it. But you have tons of space down here. So you can put large cannons down here if you want. Okay, so now we're going to do our ballistas. So it's funny how much these ballistas can actually overlap each other. So if you take a look here, now I don't have the no clip enabled on this server. So everything that you see me do here should be completely doable on officials. So if I place the ballista here, I'm going to start off with just a, it's going to go just a little bit over so that those feet are just a little bit over the side. And then I go to place another one. I mean, look how close you can get these things. Like, that's stupid close. I don't like it because it just looks janky to me. I, I just don't like it. We're going to just place four of them on here. So I just line those feet up and then just step over just a little bit like that. And we do the same thing again, just like that. And then that last one should place just like the first one. Oh, this one's a little bit off. Uh, hopefully we can get it in time, but, you know... If you, uh, if you get them off, luckily you can pick them up and you want to jump right for that. Okay. So we can pick that up and we could probably push those forward. I'm actually going to pick these back up. We're going to push those a little bit, a little bit more forward just so those feet are coming towards the, 
the front a little more. Replace your first one, and yeah, that's what we want right there. So now we can easily walk behind them. I had that back just a little too far, so let's do that again. So if you want, you can also come over here to this side and place this one next. Try to get it lined up with its feet over a little bit. It's kind of hard to see these, uh, see the front feet. You just kind of, you have to just get a, a feel for it. You can kind of see them through there. But it's a little bit more difficult. Okay, that's pretty good there. And then we can place the last two. So that we end up with, with that. And I keep falling off there. This isn't really made for you to be on. This is made for your crew to be on. The crew should be able to mount this without any problems at all. You can even mount it. But you're going to fall off the back of this catwalk really easily. You can take ceiling all the way back here, but I just don't like the way it looks, so I didn't do it. Okay, so at this point, we're just going to put the finishing touches on it. So we need our steering wheel. I just line that up with this center line right here. And then I place it pretty much to the edge there, like that. So that looks good. You look good piloting it, too. Like, check this out. You get the bounce back. And you just, it just looks cool. I like how I did the steering wheel on this one. I think it turned out pretty neat. It's just kind of unique compared to some of my other builds. I like it. Okay, so then we're going to place our large speed sails. And to place those, you're going to place the first one as close to the steering wheel as you can. So you see here how it bounces right there. It's going to be your first one. Then just keep walking forward till you get the next one. These have to be placed in the right spot or you won't be able to get the max amount on here. So and then there we go. So if you place one a little too far forward, you, you're probably going to have issues placing them all. So that's how that's the reason you want to place them the way that we place them here. And then we're going to come down here and go into the inside and we're going to place our ship's chest. I like to just place that right here. You can place it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just, just doing this to show you where I like to place it. So I like to place the ship's chest right there. And then we can place the ammo chest. Now remember, the ammo chest has a range to it. So that's part of the reason I like to place it in the back here. Now, you may want to place it more towards the middle of the ship if you're going to put cannons across the bottom, if you're going to do the broadside cannons. I'm not doing that in this build to save on weight uh, because it's a farming ship, so you want as much weight as possible on it. Uh, so we're not going to do the broadside cannons. We don't need them because we're going to kite everything with the cannons we have there and do it that way. Now, one other thing you can do is you can come to the front here and we can do a wall like this and then we can do our ceiling piece transform that to the triangle piece place it around like that and then grab our sloped piece like this then you can come up on top and you can transform your ceiling to the triangle piece again like that so you get like this little platform here and then you can go to your large cannon and we can just put a large cannon right there like that to use for aggro so this will allow you to aggro ships of the dam at a distance but remember you're gonna have to point the ship at them in order to do it which could make a bit of a difference when it comes to sailing up next to it or turning it's the ship fast enough so that you can hit it with the back of the ship uh, this is just an option I've seen people mention in the comments and stuff and and I liked it So I wanted to show it off as an option. You can just mount this large cannon on the front It's got a nice long range and you can use that to grab aggro once again However, though, I'm going to leave that off of this build because I want the least amount of stuff on here as possible in order to Maximize our weight and then we're all I would also recommend leveling weight because with this current setup You can hold a ton of ammo and you be good to go but my main point was if you put that aggro cannon on the front of this or if you're doing the broadside cannons you probably want to put your um, ammo chest somewhere more towards the middle of the ship we're not with the current build the setup that I have here we have everything in the back so I'm putting the ammo chest in the back of the ship all right so now the last thing to do is just go through and put on all of our planks and we can just do that from this deck here we can go across all the way and we're just going like I said use to the normal planks because we're not going to do any gun ports now if you have upgraded planks you know fine planks masterwork 
mythical, anything like that, I highly recommend using those. They're going to have a lot more durability than, than these. I mean, 6K is not bad and you have a little bit of armor that's going to help protect you, but some of those uh, higher level ships of the dam hit really hard and you won't may not completely lose a plank right from the get-go but one or two sh I mean two or three shots and you're definitely going to two on the same plank probably take out a plank on some of those much higher level ones if they manage to hit the lower ones if they hit up high you have your armor up there they're just going to take out your armor which you can just repair easily enough later on just um, you know slap a new one on there and hit and repair it a couple of times okay and that's pretty much it so at this point we can just uh, release the ship Give it a name and uh, you're good to go. Come up here and pitch captain's wheel. And then from this point, you can put on whatever finishing touches you want to put on. I, I left it pretty empty because I like to just give you guys the shell of the build. And then uh, that way you can customize it to your liking after the fact. Um, and that's pretty much what this build and the previous uh, farming build was. It's just more or less a shell. So if we take a look at our current weight, and I know last time everybody wanted to see the finished weight. So here's the finished weight, 4,193.3 out of 15K, which is not bad. And you start off with a crew of 16. So we have a total of 17 things that need to be mounted on the back plus the three sails. So you're going to have to put your first couple of uh, points that you get for leveling up into the crew in order to be able to man everything on the back of this bad boy it's weird that it's 16 i thought for sure the i thought the brig had way more but i could be wrong but either way that's it's not that many points that you have to spend in crew to get it high enough to man all the stuff in the back but you're gonna have to put a couple of levels in the crew in order to just man the stuff in the back now if you decided to do the broadside cannons as well then you have to put a lot of your initial levels into crew in order to to do all that but once again it's a shell of a build easily customizable and that's the reason I design it the way I do so that you can then go through and do whatever you want so you can put the cannon on the front if you want or or any of that stuff and then the inside here is completely customizable and you can do stuff like put a second floor here if you want to do whatever you want with here maybe you want some storage up there put like a ladder here to get to the second floor or set a, the the curved stairs or another ramp whatever you want to do you Got plenty of room in here to work with you put your doors on you can leave these doors off you get the idea I'm gonna stop rambling now all right that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible you all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my elite crew of patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and share your support until next time thanks for watching